So here we are going to talk about the lymphoma. So lymphoma, the cancer of the lymph node. And lymphoma is two types. One is called Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma, a type of lymphoma, but it is malignant or a cancer of lymphatic system of the body involving the immune cell and this causes the swelling of lymph node in the neck or armpit or groin. Patient present with fever, night sweat and difficult of breathing and weight loss. Let me read it. A type of lymphoma is a Hodgkin disease. And it is malignant of lymph node that is origin in single lymph node or single chain of node. It uh, predictably metastasizes to the non nodal or external lymphatic site, especially spleen, liver, bone marrow, lungs, and mediastinum. This picture showing the area where the lymph node, like axilla, paraaortic or mesenteric lymph node, ingulin lymph node, mediastinal lymph node, cervical or supraclavicular lymph node. Here showing a single lymph node, but in case of lymphoma, this is the overgrowth or cancer of lymphoid system or lymph node. And this picture showing the main difference between Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. As I told you, Hodgkin lymphoma is a malignancy of lymphocyte and marked by the presence of a characteristic cell. And this cell is called Fried Sternberg cell. So you can see this is a two cell almost look like same. Okay. And rich Sternberg cell basically mature B cell that have become malignant. But non-Hodgkin lymphoma is also a malignancy of lymphocyte and can be derived from B cell and T cell. But if you check histopathology, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, you will not see any characteristics rich Sternberg cell. The difference, the disease are different in numerous way and often follow the different course of prognosis. Here, so, uh, uh, before to go, I want to tell you a little bit pathology. The lymphoma, as I told you, solid tumor in lymphoid tissue or lymph node and spleen, or that is causes the overproduction of lymphocyte. The most common presentation, patient present fever, night sweat, fatigue, shortness of breath, swollen abdomen, also decrease the appetite, weight loss, and itchy skin. So how we uh, diagnose it by laboratory, physical exam and biopsy or histopathology. So Hodgkin disease characterized by presence of wrist and blood cell in lymph node. The peak incidence is in my it's mid of life or adolescence. Possible cause include viral infection or previous exposure to alkaline chemical agents. 
The prognosis is excellent with a low term survival rate depends on states of disease. The primary treatment modalities are radiation and chemotherapy, which may be used alone or in combination depends on clinical stage of disease what are the data painless enlargement of lymph, lymph node it is lymph node enlarge and painless it is very characteristics of hodgkin disease if the lymph node is painful it is not a hodgkin disease enlarge firm, non-tender, movable nodes in supraclavicular area. In children, the sentinel node located near the left clavicle may be the first and last node. Non-productive cough is a result of mediastinal lymphadenopathy abdominal pain as a result of enlarged retroperitoneal nodes, advanced lymph node and extra lymphatic involvement may cause the systemic symptoms such as low grade and or intermittent fever, anorexia, nausea, weight loss, nitroid and pruritus. Positive biopsy of lymph node, presence of red Stenberg cell and positive bone marrow biopsy of specimen are diagnostic test. Computed tomography scan of the liver, spleen and bone marrow may be done to detect metastasis. What else? What are the intervention? For early stage without mediastinal node involvement, the treatment of choice is usually extensive external radiation of involved the lymph node region. With more extensive disease, radiation is combination with multi agent chemotherapies used. Monitor for the drug induced pancytopenia and also abnormal depression of old cellular component of the blood, which increase the risk for infection, bleeding, and anemia. So the medication can reduce the white blood cell, red blood cell, platelet. When all cell go down, we call pancytopenia. So we have to monitor, right? Protect the cell from infection, provide safety and hazard free environment. Monitor adverse effect related to the chemotherapy. Chemotherapy and also uh, radiation therapy. The most common side effect of extensive irradiation in measles in when can be different difficult for older children and adolescents to tolerate the both physical and psychologically. Monitor for nausea and vomiting admin antiemetics as prescribed. Here the table showing the body area and F bus effect and what is our intervention. As example, if patient has a anorexia, nausea and vomiting, we carries the fluid and food as best tolerate level, provide small frequent meal, monitor for weight loss. If nausea and vomiting administer antiemetics around the clock or monitor for dehydration. If patient have any kind of diarrhea, admin antispasmodic, antidiarrheal preparation, also monitor for dehydration. 
if patient present with skin problem or hair loss, we call alopecia. Introduce the idea and also provide the scalp hygiene, stress the need for head cover, also dry and moist uh, disquamation. Keep the skin clear, wash the skin daily, and do not remove the skin marking for radiation. This is very important for NCLEX board. We talk about here lymphoma, pathophysiology, type, sign symptom, laboratory diagnostic test, and little bit about the treatment.